we live in a time that culture change took place so rapidly, affecting our worldviews, affecting our way that we live lives, so that people are confused and they ask the question, what is really leading into these shorter changes so fast? Of course, sociologists are saying this is postmodernism. And the logical question is, what is postmodernism? And it's not easy to give the answer to this question, but let me start with uh, observing the word postmodernism. It consists of two words, post and modernism. Post means after, and modernism means beyond now. So we define something that is beyond now, or living on the edge with constant changes. I like to refer uh, us to the definition that Stanley Grant gives us in his book, A Primer on Postmodernism, which says, Postmodernism entails a rejection of the emphasis on rational discovery through the scientific method, which provided the intellectual foundation for the modern attempt to construct a better world. In other words, Stanley Grant says that Postmodernists are rejecting any logical explanation about life. It's not easy like you come to the airport and it says it's easy to get a trolley, just like one, two, three. There is no easy way of explaining the mystery of life. And therefore, postmodernists are rejecting any logical explanation about life, which really provided intellectual foundation for the whole uh, modernistic approach of seeing the life. Let us look at now what Robert Weber says in his book, Ancient Future Faith. Indication of postmodern worldview suggests that mystery, that's number one, with its emphasis on complexity and ambiguity, and community, number two, with its emphasis on interrelationship of all things, and symbolic forms of communication, number three, with an emphasis on the visual, are all central to the new way of thinking. So there are three key words, mystery, and we know that life is mysterious. We cannot explain. And the Bible says that God works with us through the Holy Spirit in the mysterious ways. So yes, it's true, it's biblically confirmed that life is mystery of every individual. Number two, it's a community, and the community which uh, provides the safe, safety of everyone. And this is what people are looking for today. They like to belong. They, 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 they are members of different clubs just to feel they are part of. And Bible is saying that community is a part of the whole Christian living. We have to be part of the group, supporting each other, helping us on life journey. And the third aspect is the symbolic forms of communication. So we should not just focus on the verbal communication, just talking and talking and talking, as I'm doing right now, but rather expressing our views and our experiences and our way of thinking and understanding about life through the art and drama and poem and, and music and painting in different way so that people can see how do I define or understand or experience something which is part of my life.